And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. All right, I'm Tom Vassell, and this is... Ruby. Ruby. And Ruby is five, which is one year younger than the age needed to play this game. Baba Yaga. Now, is Baba Yaga a nice lady? No. No, why not? What does she want to do? She wants to eat the kid. Yeah, okay. Is that good? No. <laughs> okay. Well, actually... This book comes with a story that you can read. Now, the story is actually not written. It's kind of written in, uh, it's not the best uh, English translation of the story, but you can read this story. It's all the dogs, and she said, dogs, where is them? And the cat dog said, don't blame us. We wanted to eat some bread. <laughs> so she hit the dogs with a stick. Not very nice. She said to the gate, where are you? I feel better, said the gate. I have oil. Mm. So she went back to her house and she said, house, help me. And the house got up on chicken legs and started to chase after the kids. I'm going to catch you, said the witch. And the house with the legs was chasing the children. <gasps> oh, no. Will yeah. it catch them? Yes. You think so? They ran. All right, enough of the story. Let's take a look at the game itself. You're going to set the board up like this. It, it, it's kind of like this. Basically, wherever the four players are sitting, you're going to have one of the ends of the rows of Baba Yaga. So one person's going to have her, who looks like a little Russian doll here, although she's quite solid, and sticks it at the end. Each player is going to get three spell cards. Now, the goal of this game is to be running away from Baba Yaga, and you'll do that by casting these different spells. Each spell needs a certain number of ingredients. So when it's my turn, I am trying to find these ingredients that it shows here on this card. So for example, this card shows that I need a bread, a red potion, a mushrooms, and uh, a wolf. To find those, I'm going to, someone's going to say go, and I'm going to start looking for three of those four ingredients. Now, if you'll notice, I'll be looking through the forest here, and uh, the, the, all the different backs are the same. So if you read the story and look at the story, you'll know that the dogs were given bread. So I can take that one and get bread, and then maybe I need the mushrooms. I know that there's mushrooms around the bottom of this old tree here. There's mushrooms, and then the wolves, well, they're, that's on the wolf tile. That was pretty easy. However... While I'm doing this, another player moves Baba Yaga there. Then the next player moves them there. And then they keep moving it back and forth. And if Baba Yaga gets back to here before I can find three of the four tiles that I need, then, I don't, then I'm done. My turn's over. If I'm done first, then I get to play this card, get rid of the card, and cast the spell on it. There's different spells. Some of the spells make the, the Baba Yaga track shorter for the next round. Some add a longer one. Some add a house tile that has to be put here. Some cause you to put to only look peeking one eye through your fingers or to put your hand on your, fi your head, your chin, on your fist while you're looking for these as you go throughout them. And you put these back, of course, here. Some will let you switch the tiles. The first person to get three of, all, three of their spell cards is the winner. In a two-player version, one person moves Baba Yaga by themselves, but they have to use every other hand. So they would move it here, and then switch, and then here, and then switch, and then here, and then switch, and then here, and then switch. Which you can see can still be done pretty quickly, so you're going to have to find those three tiles as fast as you can. Okay, Ruby, what did you think of this game? It was so fun because Daddy just wrote read me a story. Okay, the story was fun. What did, you, did you like the game? Uh-huh. And you had to find things very fast? Uh-huh. Were you good at it? Uh-huh. Okay, now, um, in all due diligence, this game is not adult kid. You know, um, it doesn't bring down the even odds. Because if, let's say, we were playing full bore, I could move that Baba Yaga before she could find those tiles. And she could probably move the Baba Yaga faster than I can find them too, but there's certainly a, a skill difference there. It's an interesting game. The artwork is really well done. The, the tiles look really good. It's good quality. It comes in this box series. This is the second one in the series. First one was the Three Little Pigs. You know what 
is on the other side. After a while, you memorize it, you know, tree, mushrooms, uh, frog, uh, green potion, etc. You can figure all that sort of thing out. Um, so it's really just a speed find game. Um, it has good quality components. I'm not as impressed with this one as the Three Little Pigs. This one is okay. It's just a very fast game. It's super simple, although it adds some complexity with like the different spell cards and kids won't remember what they are. So you say, do it. Okay, this is what that means. What would you like to do with this card? Okay, you'd like to make, uh, add one to the Baba Yaga track for yourself in a future turn, things like that. Um, so it's okay. It's not as good as the first one. I, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I think kids like it. You said you liked it, right? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? Um, the story. Oh, the story. Well, I guess you could go buy a book for that. But that is a, a nice addition that they did add that in there. So anyhow, and everything fits together. It shows you how to set up on the inside. Great quality. Just almost a little too low level. And it's just one thing, speed finding. Some people are going to love that. Some kids will love that. And others won't, depending on how you feel about that will depend if you like this review. Until next, I mean, not whether you like this review, whether you like this game. Anyway, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. We'll be Vassell. You've been watching the Dice Tower. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Yeah. Yeah.